Well, it'll be spring soon and the wedding season will be starting up. Of course, you can get married anytime, but weddings are coming and getting ready for a wedding in our family as well. So I'll show you how to make this pretty wedding card coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. Today I am making a wedding card for a family member and I am using, primarily using, the Greeteries newest release, um, Love Letters PS. And I will also be using a, an embossing folder from Honeybee Stamps, the Spring Medley, as well as a, an open book die. It's just something I got off Amazon. I don't, I don't know who manufactures it, but it's just an open book. Um, so what I did was I started with the embossing folder and embossed a panel and came out really pretty. How do you see that? I just love these, just love these. Anyway, so I have decided that I would um, stencil the the um, panel with the greeteries um, postcard airmail border. The airmail border um, in gold. So that's what I have started to do now. And I previously I previously ran, I stamped and ran die cuts of the pieces that I am using. So I have my feather and I have my little feather stand and I printed out my sentiments as well. And I ran my flowers and the colors are purple and yellow, springy. So I will go ahead and ink this with the gold ink and I'll do that off screen and be right back. So I'm using the Delicata Golden Glitz ink and I am going to just apply it heavier in, in, uh, on one of the stencils and lighter on the other so that I'll get a two-tone effect. And uh, like I said, I'll do this off screen and be right back. So I started laying out my flowers and I have my little guest book, which I'm going to position something like this. So I'll have to trim off the sides to make it fit. And I have my sentiment, sentiments I should say, which I plan, well, the main sentiment is going to be something like this, and then the feather, and then a few petals, which are really flower buds, but in this case they're going to be petals. So that's how it's gonna, it's gonna look something like that. So I'll go ahead and trim this down and get things glued in place and be right back. Okay, so I changed the card around a little bit and took away some of the flowers and continued the airmail border up at the top, up to the flowers. It's a little hard to read around on this corner because the embossing is very heavy here, uh, but that's okay. And um, I like the dynamics of the card elements going all and leaning all toward the same direction. So that's the finished card, and I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.